It's, it is peaceful. It's serene. I feel comfortable. Um, our children, adult children, even though they weren't living here, they feel like this is home. And that's what we were searching for, is this is home. I feel like this is where I want to spend the rest of our years together. We hear the turkeys, we don't hear the cars. And we just feel like we've got our own little place out here that you know, we don't necessarily have to worry about the next door neighbor right on top of us or anything like that. We just got space. We were looking for a home that, you know, was going to be comfortable, but not cramped and not so big that you felt like you were lost in it. The philosophy was finding that right balance, you know, between how much space do you need to function. Uh, one key thing we wanted is we wanted a house that we used every part of the house every day. We definitely use every square foot of this house almost daily. Well, and I thought the process of their asking what our lifestyles were like, what was most important to us, describe our day. That made sense to me that they're wanting to get an idea of how we would be using the house before they started taking the time to design it. And I think they, they ended up building or designing a home that is very efficient from usage standpoint and it was based upon our needs. I had drawn out, sketched out, kind of a layout, but it wasn't so much as a layout of what I wanted as just trying to see, well, did everything fit, and, you know, how much floor space we need. Uh, I can remember Joey was wanting to take that drawing, and I told him, no, nope, I don't, I want you to start with a clean slate. So, as we met with him, you know, several more times before we actually got down to the design phase, uh, we really, you know, weren't sure, we were excited, but we weren't sure what we were going to get. And, and, you know, from the very first initial design, it just got better and better. Yeah, I mean, it just, it, it feels like we've been in this house forever. And that's the thing I love about it. Well, specifically on this side, uh, Russell had this vision um, that was always really interesting um, because it wasn't about transforming this into something different or new. It was actually about restoring the land into what it used to be, um, even down to all the native plants and species. And so the respect um, that they had for this land was so great um, uh, in that sense. So... Um, you know, I knew as far as the design would go, it's not something that we were doing that would be grandiose or, you know, um, uh, with some large footprint. It was more about respecting the place and what it was about. This is the hill country. This is what people know it for, and is this this kind of style of architecture so um, we've done so much research on it and understanding the, the, the building type and the history of it from um, you know pre-1850s where there were uh, you know Falkworth log cabins to in the 1850s when they started building with stone and the houses and you see a lot of that and there's so many of them in this area the building stock when you're just driving around in the landscape is great so um that's the things we love is that is this i mean we love this 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 style of home because it it feels like home it feels like it belongs um it's using materials that are from the area and um it just feels appropriate you know this house they use local artisans and craftsmen to to build doors and um in different unique pieces and so that's to me um, a good thing the character of the house while it's completely tied in to a sort of a we see like a continuity with with history and of a place we don't see a disconnect between uh, just because a certain 
date. We just we see this is Texas, and this is kind of a Texas lifestyle. And so that's the inspiration for the, the vernacular design, this hill country. There's also a strong desire by us and for, with our clients to have a connection, more, more of a connection. Um, so we might open up, we might have more windows. However, the way that we're doing that is a way that is uh, practical and also that uh, have, there's a precedent for. I mean, it's a way, it's a technique to have that, have large, large amounts of glass and natural light and connection between rooms into the outdoors. But it's also very much, um, you know, a logical response. It's not a foreign looking thing. You have your land, and if you have a love of the land, then, you know, you keep thinking about those things that you like about it. But then think about your wants and your needs, and just start talking about that with the architect and just have conversations. And the most important things will kind of sift to the surface. And those will be the things that everybody will kind of hold on to. And then strong concepts, you know, that, that's the way to be thinking about it. It's like, what are the kind of the strong concepts that come out of that? And everybody can hold on to that throughout the whole process so that you're not being just tossed by, by the, you know, by a whole bunch of different ideas. It guides all the rest of the decision making. This went so smooth, and I'd worked with construction for a lot of years, doing inspections and funding, financing projects for USDA, and we never had projects go this easy. I mean, it was so much fun, so easy. Uh, as our builder said, well, let's do another one. We did tell them, well, yeah, but not on our dime, so. But it really was not any major issues that I can remember at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I would have to say the whole process was probably one of the most enjoyable things I've ever done in my life.